Okay guys, so we are back for another week, <laughs> nay said day, another week of school lunches. Uh, I'm going to start with the boys. They have exactly the same in their lunch boxes. They have melon and grapes cut up in here. They have a homemade applesauce that I did earlier. You know, they've got their spoon to go with that. Uh, here they have cream cheese sandwiches. I'm literally have to order my shopping, my grocery shopping tomorrow, so we had to make do with what we had left. So they've got cream cream cheese sandwiches. Uh, they've got a fruit. Now the fruit is frozen. It will be thawed out by the time they have it for lunch, but I had to make kind of a little barrier between the fruit and the sandwiches so it doesn't make them soggy. Um, in here we have two Jaffa cakes. That's the boys' treats for after the, them eating their fruit. They have a little cutie as well. And obviously their spoon to go with the apple sauce. So they both have exactly the same. They do have tuck money to take to the shop across the road from their school. So they will no doubt have snacks added onto this. Hopefully, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, they will choose some healthy snacks. But that is wishful thinking. Uh, over here we have the girls. They have pretty much the same. They have the, the melon and the grapes cut up in there. In here, Isabella has some pretzels. She has a ham sandwich. I think that's right. Was it ham or chicken? I think it was chicken. Yeah, ham. Yeah, but I think it's a chicken sliced. It looks like ham, but I think it's chicken slices. Um, she has a cutie, some hot dogs, her Rice Krispies treat for after her fruit. I'm so distracted this evening. I've got so many things going on. Uh, here we have her yogurt. Now, again, it was frozen, so we've put it in this bag just to make sure that it doesn't make everything soggy. I'm kind of hoping that works, but it's a long shot, so we'll just have to see how it goes. So that's Isabella's. Again, Lily has exactly the same in her lunchbox. She has her yogurt in the bag as well, and they've got little forks to go with the fruit or hot dog, whichever they choose. She has the pretzels in hers too, so they've got exactly the same. But Chloe, however, we went a little bit different. She's got the applesauce in hers because she liked it, but she hasn't got the pretzels. So yeah, so she's got everything the same, and hers is in a little bag too. Chloe stays at home with me, but it is pure novelty that she has a lunchbox. And I, you know, it gets her ready for when she does go to school. But that is us all set. They are ready to go in the fridge for tomorrow morning and it just makes our day easier if we make them the night before so there you have it and i will see you after school when they get back morning peeps okay so we are on for another day of school lunches uh as you can probably tell we've only got three today there's no more so Chloe is staying home with me and she's going to share some of what I'm having for lunch um, and that's obviously not on here um, and Lily is going to be having hot dinner so she's not having what everybody else is having. Now I will tell you that we are low on groceries and I sent my husband to the shop this morning and he came back with meal deals for the boys which is just bad parenting at its finest. So they both chose... A meal deal each. Dylan got some pasta and Ethan got a sandwich but they've decided to share them between them. So they've both got exactly the same in their lunch boxes at the day and it is just once in a while kind of thing when we are low on groceries. So in here they have like a mixed vegetable pasta um, with just like a mac macaroni pasta in there. Uh, they have a Jaffa cake for their treat. I've only given them one because there's quite a lot of protein going on here. Uh, a cutie that they have. In here, in this sandwich, they have, I think it's like a club BLT sandwich, something like that. Um, it's got like bacon, bacon, lettuce, tomato and that in there. So there is some vegetables going on here. Uh, they both have a pack of these cheddar and onion McCoy's Ridge, Ridge Cut Crisps. Like I say, it's not fantastic, but, you know, it's not dreadful. Uh, they do have a bottle of this Oasis Zero. It's like a, I think it's like a summer fruits 
um, juice drink, but they will be taking some water with them as well. So that's what the boys have got. Tomorrow will be better once my grocery order gets here. And Isabella, she has got a few different things going on. She's actually going on a school trip to the zoo today. So she has got some cocktail sa sausages in here. And she's got some cucumber sticks. And she's got, with her cucumber sticks, she's got some cream cheese to dip them in. Then we have a chocolate chip cookie and like a gluten-free Oreo biscuit. That is mine. Um, she wanted to try them, so I gave them to her to try for her treat. Uh, we have, what's this? It's a pear. We have a pear. And in here we have a chicken salad sandwich that she wanted. Uh, ridge cut cheddar and onion. McCoy's crisps as well. Yes, this was a pre-made shop-bought sandwich. I know, dreadful, but it is chicken and salad. I'm hoping she eats it. I'm really hoping she eats it. She also has a Volvic strawberry sugar-free water. And again, I'm hoping she drinks something today. We've noticed quite a trend where she is not drinking anything at school. And with her being away today, I really need her to drink something because it's not around the corner so we can't just get to her straight away if she was to need us. Oh, I feel so out of breath. This is like the third time that I've tried to film this video. Every time I turn the camera on, somebody like either talks over the top of me or turns on the vacuum or does something. So I apologise if I'm so out of breath. But anyway, that is our lunches for today. And hopefully when they get back, Dad won't be so quick to empty out the lunch boxes that I won't be able to show you while they've eaten. <laughs> Good morning, guys. So... Last night or yesterday, I didn't get to film empty lunch boxes again because the boys came straight in and emptied their lunch boxes, and so did Bella. So that was another day of not being able to film what they had eaten and what they hadn't. But nevertheless, we are now on Wednesday. It's Wednesday morning, and we're going to start off with the girls. Okay, so we had to resort back to our older lunch boxes because. The teachers pulled us aside and said, you know, the girls are having a little bit of trouble opening their lunch boxes and they weren't asking for help. They were actually just sitting there and not eating anything. So we have had to come back to these ones and I know that these they can open these ones. Anyway, okay, so Chloe's at home with me today and I've just done kind of a little bit of mix and match in hers. Um, we've come to notice that she doesn't really like bread that much. So... She has some cheesy um, snack biscuits. These are the cheaper version of Ritz biscuits. They look absolutely no different. She's got some raisins, some Paw Patrol raisins again. She loves those. A Baby Bell cheese. Some cucumber sticks. Some ham. It's a little bit like Lunchable, isn't it? It is really. Ham, cheese, biscuits. It's a little bit like that. Uh, some... Well, they chopped into quarters these tomatoes. She loves them, so I always put those in her lunchbox. She got some strawberries. And I got some of these little penguin mini chocolate biscuits for their treat. And they have a little joke on it as well. So they can, you know, when the others go to school, they can have a little bit of fun with that. Uh, this is Lily's. She's got the same cucumber, strawberries, biscuits um baby baby bell cheese but she has a ham sandwich she has three little heart shaped ham sandwiches she's got the mini penguin biscuits again she can have a little bit of fun with the joke that is on there um but instead of raisins she has one of these little coconut rolls and they're actually really tasty and they love them so she has one of them in there then we have isabella isabella has some hummus to go with her cucumber sticks strawberries the ritz biscuits she requested that i got some of these mange too they were supposed to be sugar snap peas but uh, they didn't have any so we had to make do with mange too she got again some heart shaped ham sandwiches she's got one of the little coconut rolls as well and of course some of that i've just dipped my finger in the hummus that wasn't great was it let's take that off there uh, and yeah, she's got some of the penguin chocolate biscuits as well. And I know, I know for a fact that her and her friends will enjoy that joke on there. And then we have the boys over here. 
and they're sticking with the blue lunch boxes they actually like them they find them easy to open so in here they both have some carrot and cucumbers mixed up to go with that they both have a little tub of hummus Dylan kept saying that he didn't like it but he eats it home so I'm not really sure why he's not eating it at school but I've put some in there to see how he does anyway um, okay what have they got what have they got they've got some strawberries uh, Ethan has got a cutie in his they've got a cream cheese spinach and ham sandwich that I've made for them I did make it today because uh, my grocery order came uh, they've all they've all got these these penguin minis so they, he's got them and he's got a little baby bell in the corner as well uh, the only difference really for Dylan is he has got some halved cherry tomatoes in his so they've basically got exactly the same apart from the tomatoes okay so that is it for today I do have to put together the juice bottles and their water bottles I haven't had a chance to do that yet but they will be taking them as well yeah so hopefully fingers crossed I will see you after school to see what they have eaten today I'll see you then and we only have the girls back so far the boys haven't come in yet but here we have Lily's lunchbox that I've just tipped over try that one again we have Lily's lunchbox she has eaten everything in there she just a few of these Ritz biscuits left over she did really well with her food however she didn't drink much of her water any of her water actually so we're going to be having words about that uh, Bella however didn't eat at all really she had her strawberries she had her mange too and a few of her Ritz biscuits, or most of my, her Ritz biscuits, and a couple of sandwiches. But she's left her cheese, she's left her cucumber, she hasn't touched her hummus. Which is a shock, really, because she loves hummus. Bella, did I put any carrots in your lunchbox? No, I didn't. So you just haven't touched the cucumber at all. She's ate her chocolate, however, and her coconut roll. So tomorrow, you won't be getting... A snack in your lunchbox now and she hasn't touched her water either so we're not too happy about the fact that you haven't touched your water because you know that you need to drink because the doctors asked you to drink okay so these are actually still very cold so what I'm gonna do as she is telling me continuously that she is hungry she will now eat these for a snack instead of me making her an after-school snack but yeah, that is the girls, and we will wait for the boys. Okay, guys, so the boys are home. Here we have Dylan's lunchbox. He's eaten practically everything. However, he has not eaten his carrots, but he ate his treat. Dylan, you ate your treat, and you didn't eat your carrots. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that means... Yeah, but you didn't eat carrots, so that means you don't get a treat in your lunchbox tomorrow. I did have There's no excuses. Okay, so... You, did you refill this? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. I don't mm, don't think you did. Excuse my coffee. Uh, then we have Ethan's over here, which looks like the home has actually exploded everywhere. And again, he hasn't eaten his fruit. He hasn't eaten his cucumber, nor his carrots, but his treat is gone. Ethan, what happened? Huh? What happened? I can bribe you. What happened? I didn't get time to eat it. But you had time to eat your treat? Ah, there's no excuse. No, there's no excuse. You shouldn't eat your treat unless you're going to eat the vegetables and the fruit. And I gave him some of this this morning and he's drank all of that. So that's good. What about your water bottle? Did you drink your water? You left it at home. I did notice it in the fridge. So yeah, so it looks like Ethan, Dylan and Bella are not getting a treat in their lunchbox tomorrow. Uh-oh, but I do think, however, we need to go and wash these out because the hummus has just exploded everywhere. All right, guys, well, I will see you tomorrow for Thursday's lunches. This is Chloe's lunch for today. She she just played with it mostly. She hasn't been feeling very well, so I didn't expect her to eat everything, but she did try. She ate most of the cucumber and she ate her cheese. She ate the strawberries. Was it strawberries I put in there? I think it was. Um, 
and the tomatoes the tomatoes went so quickly but yeah I didn't expect her to eat much because she wasn't feeling very well but there we have Chloe's morning guys okay so it's Thursday morning we've got all our lunches ready and we've got Isabella helping us out this morning mm. <laughs> okay so we have who are we starting with Bella me this is yours yeah. what do we have Strawberry yogurt with strawberry cluster cereal. What's this? Uh, apple. Some yeah. apple. We need to put some lemon juice in because it's yeah. browning off a little yeah. bit. Okay, then we have ham sandwich in a witch's hat shape. Yeah. I've got carrots. Carrots. Uh, Cocktail sausages. Yeah. What's in here? Baby Bell and uh, mac and cheese. We need to put some spoons. You need to go get some plastic spoons. We got Baby Bell and some Palm Bay crisps. But we have no treat, do we? Because you didn't eat lunch yesterday. So uh, Lily has. Um, Lily has treats in hers. Right, so that's Isabella's. You need to go get some plastic spoons real quick. Then we have Chloe's lunch. She's got some apple, some cereal and strawberry yogurt as well. Ham sandwich in the witch's hat. She's got a few carrots there. Some Paw Patrol raisins. Cocktail sausages. Baby Bell, and in here, instead of mac and cheese, she's got chopped tomatoes because she just adores them. And again, some pombers. So we need plastic spoons for all of them, Isabella. And then we've got Lily. She's got pretty much the same in hers. Um, she's got the mac and cheese, but she's got a cutie instead of carrot sticks. Uh, and back here, she actually is the only one that gets a treat today. She has these gingerbread men. For a little snack and she's really looking forward to them that's what she chose for her treat because she is the only one that ate all her lunch yesterday moving on to the boys the boys have got exactly the same in their lunch boxes they've got ham sandwiches carrot sticks they've got this um cheese and chive kind of crisp mix full apple baby bell they've got a cutie and again in here they've got some macaroni and cheese but they don't have a snack because they didn't eat all of their vegetable yesterday they chose to eat their snack without eating their vegetable their snack their treat so that's all their lunch is done we just need to get some plastic spoons to put them in there and then we have to fill up their water bottles and make sure that they have them ready so i will see you they don't want to close i will see you after school it is the end of school and first of all i have a bella and a lily uh, I don't have Chloe's lunchbox. It's disappeared. I don't know where it's gone. So we're going to have to find that. Anyway, we have Lily's here. Again, looks like something exploded. She has eaten a little bit of the yogurt and cereal. It looks like it's just gone all mushy now. Um, she's only eaten half of her orange. Nah, it looks like she had a couple of her apple. She didn't touch this. Lily, where is she? Oh, I have to find out if she didn't like that. Um, but she's eaten her crisp, she's eaten her cheese and her sandwich. However, she didn't eat her apple and she didn't eat her orange, but she did eat her treat. So, she doesn't get a, doesn't get a treat tomorrow. No. Now, how did we do over here? This is Bella's. So you ate your crisps. Mm -hmm. You've tried, you've ate most of that actually. Did you like it? Excuse my cold. yellow nails. I've been cooking and my nails have turned yellow. It, it was a bit cold though. Yeah, it will be though, isn't it? Because it, it's, I don't have any of the thermal things. Yeah. Uh, you didn't eat your apple. Because it's mouldy. It's not mouldy. No, it's not it's just turned a little bit brown. Well, it won't be any good now. No. Maybe it's not chop it next time, huh? No. So you ate a few of your carrots. You did good there. What else did you have in here? You had a sandwich, you ate that. And I ate my sausages. You ate your cocktail sausages, you didn't eat your cheese. So you have done better than yesterday. So I'm pleased, I'm pleased with how you've done. So maybe, maybe, yeah. if you... Yeah, I used this for, the, for that and that. Well done. But did, did you kind of clean it in between? Maybe I should have given you two spoons. I never thought about that. Yeah, that would be a good idea. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe if you drink... All of your water, because you, you did good, you did good. Excuse my tomatoes over there. You did good. So, maybe you might just get a treat in your lunchbox tomorrow. Okay, so that's the girls. Um, we'll just got to wait for the boys coming home now. So the boys are home. 
Dylan did quite well actually. He just didn't eat his orange and gave me some very sad excuse about not being able to peel it, even though it is peeled already. So why didn't you eat your orange? Because I didn't have it all. Uh-huh, I'm sure. But he did good other than that. Ethan, however. Yes, I did the deep voice. Ethan did not do so good. He ate his mac and cheese. He ate his sandwich. But not his orange. He ate... Did I give him a baby bell cheese in his? I think so. I think I did. But he hasn't touched his carrots. He hasn't touched his crisps. He hasn't touched his cutie. And he hasn't touched his apple. And... He's very swiftly disappeared from the room. Well, it looks like Ethan will not be getting a snack tonight because he can eat what's in this lunchbox. And these are still cold, could do with a wash, but they're still cold-ish. Yeah. Cold enough. Uh, but he can eat these for his snack tonight because I'm not making him another one. But he won't be getting a treat in his lunchbox tomorrow either. So that, ladies and gentlemen, rounds up. Our Thursday evening, even though we didn't get to show Chloe's because I don't really know where she's put it. So we've got to go on the hunt for lunchbox. Morning. Morning, guys, and happy Friday. So I have everybody's lunches in front of me. It is Friday morning, very early on Friday morning. Okay, so we're going to start over here. This is Isabella's. She Mommy. has... What do you say? What do you need? I love my lunch. You love your lunch. Can you not wait to eat it? <laughs> okay so this this is Isabella's she's got some strawberries in there I was running out of strawberries so I've had to kind of divide them through everybody but she's got some strawberries she's got some cucumber uh, sticks we had some of these left over so I've put some of those in she's got some of the mixed crisps in there a fruit an apple some salami they absolutely love this so I've just rolled a couple of slices up and put that in there um, they've got some Ritz biscuits here with ham inside, so they're like little sandwiches, which is cool because they love the novelty of it. Uh, they've got some Baby Bell cheese, uh, and they've all got this treat, even though they all weren't supposed to have one. I thought, you know what, it's Friday, let's just give them one. So they have this Rice crispy Rice Snaps treat. So they all... Have one of those in the lunchbox. It does seem quite light today, um, but we've noticed that they're not all eating everything I give them. So we do now a nice big snack after school, which we always do a snack after school, but we do a bit of a bigger one. So that's what Bella's got in hers. Lily's got pretty Mom. much the same. Mom. Two seconds, my darling. She um. has pretty much the same. She's just uh, without any pea. She doesn't like the Marge 2 pea things. Uh, she's got some raisins in hers as well. And we've changed up the apple for a cutie in hers. She's got the crisps too. Then we have Chloe again, has pretty much the same. She has the little ham Ritz sandwiches there. A little bit like Lunchable. Cucumber. And here she's got her cherry tomatoes. I don't make her lunch without cherry tomatoes. She's got a yogurt. And I've just knocked under there. Her baby bell cheese she's got the raisins the rice snap treat and in here we probably will take this out early because she always takes something out of her lunchbox early what are they? she's got her strawberries what are these mine? no these are these are chloe's ones oh we haven't we haven't done any of the mixed crisps for chloe yet she has another snack box which i'm going to get out in a second actually i'll get that out now Okay, so I have this little pot and I've just put some of the crisps in there for her. So she'll probably eat those at snack time and then have this at lunch, I think. So that's Chloe's. Then we have the boys. The boys have exactly the same in their lunch boxes. They've got some strawberries and kiwi in there. The girls won't eat kiwi, so just for the boys. They've got some cherry tomatoes and cucumber sticks. Inside their little sandwiches... <laughs> Instead of having ham, they have pepperoni slices. The girls don't like those because they say they're a bit spicy, but the boys love them. Then they've got their baby bell cheeses, their yogurt. We've changed up, um, again, apple and cuties. We give the boys pears in theirs. Oh, that rhymed. Pears in theirs. Um, 
and then they've got the rice snap treat and of course their mixed crisps like I said Dylan's got exactly the same so there's our lunches they're all taking a bottle of water with them and hopefully they will drink it today Isabella you're gonna drink it all you're gonna eat all your lunch promise me <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so that is our lunches for today and i will see you after school to see how they got on okay guys so it is now friday afternoon and we have all our lunch boxes ready to show you what they ate okay we're going to start with bella's she ate the majority of these crisps you ate your cucumber sticks yes you ate your strawberries you eat your crackers. Did you like those crackers? Were they nice? <laughs> you ate your treats. Your yogurt. You didn't touch your cheese. What else did you have in here? Oh, you had some of your green bean things. Uh oh, somebody's having a meltdown. What else did you have? I can't remember either. But she ate it anyway. She just didn't have her apple. Oh, ate the treat with no apple. What was the matter with your cheese? You haven't eaten this for a couple of days now. I'm going to guess you want to eat that now. Okay, so we are moving on to Ethan. Is this yours or is this Dylan's? That's Dylan's. That's, That's Dylan's. Dylan's. Okay, so as you can see, we're having a meltdown behind us. Dylan ate everything. Well done, Dylan. Absolutely everything. Uh-oh, something's happening. Uh, this is Ethan's. Ethan didn't eat his tomatoes or his cucumbers. Well, he ate most of them. Yeah. Did you not like the tomatoes? No, I did. I Tried eating them, but okay, so you tried eating them, but he, he ran out of time. We have a meltdown happening behind us. He ate everything but his pear and those. So he did really good. Apart from he ate his treat without eating his fruit. But it's Friday, we'll let him off. Then we have Chloe. She did really well, actually. For some reason, her tomatoes ended up in this pot. But, yeah, she ate everything. She didn't he eat her treat well she didn't eat all of it but it's a bit odd she didn't like these so we know not to do those in the future for Chloe but she did really well and then we have Lily now Lily ended up I think that's actually Chloe's uh, Lily ended up staying home today because she wasn't very well at all she did do good with her lunch though and most of the day, all I heard was, Mum, I'm hungry. So she had quite a few fruit snacks and she ate her lunch as well. But like I said, she was unwell. She's got something going on that we're not even really sure what it is. But she's off to see the doctor now anyway. But she did really good. I think, in general, they all did really good. So, yeah, that wraps up our week of lunches. And uh, hold on to your hats for next week's video for another week of lunches so i hope you liked it if you did give it a thumbs up and i will see you in the next one bye for now